and welcome to my channel. Today I am in 2004. As you can probably see, things are looking a little bit different here. So I am in FL Studio 4. I'm running it on Windows XP. And the reason for that is that today I'm going to be testing old BSD plugins from the early 2000s. I have found some treasures again from Internet Archive. I also found some sample packs and like, you know, all sorts of stuff that I can use to create my perfect 2004 track. I think I've used FL Studio 4 on a video. It's practically the same, except that there's this like, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a pattern selector. Anyway, we're going to figure that out. So let's get into the video. So one of the most interesting things that I found this time is that there used to be this Swedish music magazine and with every issue there would be like this CD full of demos of like VSTs and samples and all sorts of stuff. Lyssna på åtta av de heta testade produkterna och skaffa dig en egen... Det är faktiskt... Ja, det är... Har inte soppa i... Det är inte så mycket svenska vi kommer från Finland. FL Studio 5.01 So this is what one of the CDs looks like. So there are multiple categories of plugins. There's like effects and generators and now I'm not gonna try all of them but let's just go over a couple. So this is how you install plugins in FL Studio 4. Navigate to Program Files. Open FL Studio 4. Open the Plugins folder and the VST folder and then paste the plugin into the folder. Next, open FL Studio. Open the mixer. The hell of it. Wait, what? This is the mixer. This is the entire mixer. What is this like? 16 tracks. Maybe the simplicity will allow creativity to flourish or something like that. Okay, back to the plugin tutorial. Select more, press refresh, select fast scan, recommended. Okay, here's our plugin. I don't even know if this was an effect. <gasps> okay, I think this is a synth. It says synth literally there, so. Okay, we're gonna do this again. From the channels menu, So we also have some samples. I found this this pack. If you believe in love. Then what? We're going to start with a kick and I have just the right tool for that. I actually found this like kick making plugin. <laughs> oh, where's the tiny ass mixer? Let's do some overdrive. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, this is the demo version, by the way. So if we crash, we're fucked. trying to delete some of these channels that I'm not using <laughs> because this is 2004. <laughs> we can't have all the channels or we are going to run into some serious trouble. Let's add some modulation to this bass. Oh my god. This is <laughs> Arctron. Okay, I've made some progress on the track. So next up, we're gonna add a little fill before the drop is dropping. Maybe like a ride pattern would also be kind of cool. Let's edit the velocities. Let's make this a little bit shorter maybe. Okay, I wanna look at some of the break beats. That's pretty good. Okay, so 
oh my god, why does this do that? I'm guessing it's because I'm moving my mouse like outside of the virtual box screen maybe, but annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> Help. Careful. Careful. Okay, we did it. Let's test what it sounds like. Maybe we need like a second fill because this fill is not fulfilling me. <laughs> um, I'll show myself off the cliff now. <laughs> I don't remember where the fill stuff is anymore. I'm pretty sure it was under drum loop. Where the heck is that stuff? Effects? Oh, why? <laughs> what? Why is drum break in effects? How does that make any goddamn sense? <sighs> Can't complain. Can't complain. Carefully, care. Gosh darn it, I did it again. Okay, I think I saw reverse effects. Why are all of these so extra? <laughs> like, I just need something simple. I don't want my track to sound like Star Trek. So I just, I'm just gonna do it myself from a crash because we do have the reverse option here already. So, oh, they already have reverse symbols. Yeah, this is actually exactly what I want. I got a dirty mind. Don't we all? Don't we all? Can we do like a slide? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I was this excited about a note slide. <laughs> that was awesome. Like, I gotta say, I'm very positively surprised of this stability that we have had here. <laughs> not a single crash, like not even close. Oh, fuck me. I realized that I can just like switch to the pattern by clicking on it on the playlist. As... I always could. Well, it's a little different, so I didn't realize that, but now we don't have the whatever this situation here is. I forgot again what I wanted to do. Oh, right. I wanted to explore this, this one. Oh, what? Uh. <laughs> Why does it keep making those fucking jagged Edges. Somebody's touch. <laughs> Ultra vocoder. Ooh, I would love it if this didn't flicker like a motherfucker. <laughs> okay, what is this then? Formant? I can make fucking dubstep with this. This is like fucking cool as fuck. That's incredible, that's incredible technology. Okay, so unfortunately I had to abandon the sin that we were looking at because I'm running out of time here. <laughs> Dubstep in the next video using that, whatever its name was, Double Mangler, great plugin. Okay, we need to wrap up here. So let's add good old citrus here. So. This won't take too long. I'm just gonna pick some preset, like a pad. Dang, these presets are so old. So now I can use them in the intro like this. Okay, that's my song. It's done. But yeah, that was exploring. That was exploring old VSTs from the early 2000s. <laughs>